Right. Let's look at some more questions in part five. So subscribe. It will help you with cloud certifications, intermediate, entry level, advanced certifications, and which cloud? Which cloud? AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. So a company intends to subscribe to Azure support plan. The plan must allow for new support requests to be open. So which one will allow this request to be open? So here we have to arrange these things in sequence. So basic this will not allow. Rest all will allow. Developer, standard, professional, direct, and premier. Developer, it allows this for non production workloads. Our question is not telling which workload, so it can be assumed that any workload you can consider here. Standard, it will help you with this request for production workloads. Professional direct, you can do this for production and this also comes with fast response times and more proactive guidance compared to standard. Obviously, because you are paying more money, so you get better services. Then premier, this is the highest tire. This one is the highest tire. And uh, there are dedicated people. They will talk to you, help you. They will be very proactive. They will resolve your queries very fast. Those all features are here. This one. I hope you understood this. So, your company has data centers where you have this in Los Angeles and you have it in New York. And the company has Azure subscription. So, these data centers are geo clustered sites or site residency. Like if one site goes down, other would be still up. So you never feel as an application user that the application went down. You never feel that. So you have following storage requirements. Data must be stored on multiple nodes. And data must be stored on nodes in separate geographical location and data can be read from secondary location as well as primary location suppose this is primary this is secondary so we can read data from here we can read data from here so in this case this is what in short the question is asking for we have summarized the requirement here so the answer here is uh, read only geo redundant storage i'll tell you why this this one replicates data to secondary region so you have primary region you have secondary region so always this replication happens to secondary region that's why you can read from primary and you can read from secondary also and it meets all the requirements that means uh, it can store in multiple nodes and the nodes are in separate geographical locations because primary and secondary servers they are in different locations 
this works a why a will not work so a see it also replicates data to secondary region but you cannot read from secondary region your question is telling boss 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 i want to read from primary region i want to read from secondary location i want both so that is not doable here zone redundant so here it does not meet the requirement of separate location like los angeles and new york zone means it replicates data in the three easy in the same region like in los angeles only or if you are only on new york so only new york no los angeles so that is not what you want you want one data center in los angeles one data center in new york and that is how the replication should work between the two so that's why zrs will not work lrs will it work this will even be a worst solution worst because lrs that means single data center local it is local single data center <clears throat> so it does not meet the requirement of separate geographic locations i hope you understood this so your company as your subscription they see your customer sorry your company has a azure subscription they have taken just a basic support plan and they want to request an assessment so but azure is telling boss you don't have money boss you have taken a basic plan that plan will not support this boss okay so now the company says okay buddy tell me which plan should i take which will help me keep my expenses to minimum but still i i will get this support for assessment so such questions they also come with answers you just have to say that answer will work or not so the answer is saying boss go for professional direct support plan this will not work this will this will not work not not see now you will say why because professional direct does help you with design reviews proactive guidance it is a high tier support plan so what is the problem see it is not exp not less expensive there are other plans which are less expensive that is why this will not work because you also have to take care of money just like your father every time in your teenage he used to tell save money save money so like that even your project manager will tell you save money you have to save company's money when you are on cloud so this is our answer okay now this one you are tasked with deploying azure virtual machines for your company okay you have to deploy virtual machines like this you are making use of cloud deployment solution okay you want to make use of cloud deployment solution and so here answer says let's use sas bus so this answer is not going to work sas because it you need something like a pass see sas is a software distribution model uh, azure takes care of everything but when you want to deploy virtual machines you want to manage the virtualization of the hardware so you want a iaas infrastructure as a service solution 
not slash, not pass. When I told pass, that was wrong. You want infrastructure as a service, IaaS. SaaS is incorrect. Okay. Same question. This time they are telling pass. It pass. It is good for uh, developing, running, managing applications. For deploying virtual machines, managing infrastructure itself, you need infrastructure as a service. That is why this answer would be no in this case. Okay, please subscribe. You are really serious about cloud certifications? Please subscribe. AWS, Google Cloud, Azure Cloud, and there are lot of questions for members. Which members? Uh, cloud kernel. Okay. And cloud ninja. Ninja is a bit expensive. Kernel is really cheap. So you can get many more questions. Kernel will give you entry level and intermediate level certification questions. Ninja will give you access to advanced certification questions and discussions and so on. Okay. So if you are serious about cloud certifications, this channel will help you. See, there are thousand plus videos and all of those, a lot of people ask, hey, some videos are two years old, three years old. Is it valid? A yeah, lot of it is still valid. I would say 95% is still valid. There are not much changes. Some services get decommissioned, some new services get added, but the concepts and etc. everything is the same. So don't worry about the authenticity or validity of the videos. Go through the questions as much you practice, as much you think about it. It is better for you to clear certifications. The clearing certification, I see a lot of people we interview, they cleared certification, they cannot answer or they cannot work on projects they don't have that knowledge but don't clear certification by just mugging the answers understand what is being taught in these videos because this uh, this is i mean we are doing real-time work on projects so we are talking from experience also a lot of answers comes from our experience stay tuned we will see you in the next part